Hi, I'm Shelley Love and welcome to this Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Acer and Apps Events. In this video, I'll be looking more closely at Android device management from Google Workspace. What controls are available for admins to manage the experience of their users on Android devices? Which security features should admins enable to protect your organization's information and users? And how can admins add value to Android devices to make the experience of using them in your organization both efficient and positive? Google Workspace supports a variety of versions of Android with different management features available depending on the Android version that you're using. For Android 5 devices, which is Lollipop, published in 2014, that supports features like control of development mode, managing location sharing, pre preventing or allowing data to move between work and personal space. So those features are available with Android 5. With Android 6, which is Marshmallow, published in 2015, you get supports for features like CTS compliance, preventing USB file transfer, using Play Protect to guard against malware, and setting default runtime permissions for apps. What this generally means is that admins can use policies to manage devices, and a greater range of features will be available on the more recent Android devices. It's useful to know that official Google Workspace apps for Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Gmail will receive support for the current plus two versions of Android. This means, with the current version being 12, that versions 11 and 10 continue to receive updates and support for new features on the official Workspace apps. Endpoint management for Android in Google Workspace has been supported from version two of Android. Currently, all endpoint management features of Google Workspace are supported in version 6 and above. So let's have a little look at the basic mobile management requirements, the requirements for advanced mobile management, and the requirements for app management. You can see these on the screen now. Work profiles requires Android 5 or later, with some support on most devices. You'll need to confirm that with a device manufacturer. So looking over the main features that are available there in terms of device management, it's good news. And it means that most devices manufactured in the last seven years should be fully supported for all device management features of Google Workspace. So let's have a look at some of these more detailed settings and have a look at what we can do with apps and data sharing. So admins can manage access to apps and data for their users and which features of the Android operating system are available to users. The available app setting allows users to find and install all apps in the Google Play Store or only allowed apps. The system app setting allows users to install all or selected system apps. System apps are pre-installed apps such as Clock and Calculator. You can allow all, block all or select specific apps to block or allow them. Some system apps are critical to device function. And these will still be available even if you block all. Selecting block all doesn't remove access to Android apps that you add to the web and mobile app list. Screen capture allows users to take screen captures on their mobile devices. To block screen captures in work apps, uncheck the allow screen capture box. In this case, users can still get screen captures in their personal apps. Sharing to other profiles allows users to share data and files from their work profile to their personal space on their device. Cross profile copy means users can copy text from any app in their work profile and paste it in any app in their personal space. To block users from copying work data to their personal apps, uncheck the allow pasting between work profile and personal space box. Android Beam allows users to share content between Android devices with Android Beam. And that uses near field communications or NFC. To block data sharing with Android Beam, uncheck the allow outgoing Beam box. Location sharing allows users to turn on or off Google's location service. Apps use location information to provide location based services such as the ability to view commute traffic or find nearby restaurants. 
This setting also allows users to manage their Android device from the My Devices page. To block location sharing for all apps, uncheck the Allow Location Sharing box. There are also settings for Google Play private apps, which allows Android users to access and publish private apps in Google Play, and runtime permissions, which sets the default response to permission requests from apps at runtime. With app settings, users can uninstall apps, disable apps, force stop or halt processes, show notifications, and clear data, cache or defaults. To block users from changing app settings, uncheck Allow Users to Change App Settings. Verify Apps is an important anti-malware feature, and admins can allow users to turn off Google Play Protect, which is formerly verified apps. Play Protect helps prevent the installation of harmful software on Android devices. It also periodically scans the device for potentially harmful apps. To require that Google Play Protect is always on, uncheck allow users to turn off Google Play Protect. USB file transfer allows users to transfer files to and from their mobile devices using a USB connection. To block file transfer over a USB connection, uncheck allow USB file transfer. Unknown sources prevents users from installing apps from sources other than the Google Play Store. When checked, users can still install apps from unknown sources in their personal space if the device has a work profile. To allow app installation from unknown sources, uncheck the block app installation from unknown sources box. Developer options allows users to use developer options on their devices. To block users from using developer options, uncheck allow developer options. If the device has a work profile, users can still turn on development options for their personal space. So let's have a look at networks and network settings and some of the policies that we can set up there. You can set policies for network settings, including VPN access, tethering, allowing changes to mobile network settings like APN, and allowing users to change Bluetooth settings and Wi-Fi settings. You can also modify device features. So this will allow admins to control device features, key ones to manage for security, are access to external SD card slots, preventing modifications to trusted credentials, enabling an administrator restriction pin that can be remote managed, and preventing users from rebooting their device into safe mode. With users and accounts, admins can control how accounts uh, are added to the Android device. Accounts allows users to add and remove accounts on their device. Only one managed account can be added to devices with a work profile. To remove a managed account, the user needs to remove the work profile from the device. Admins can allow or restrict access to add and or remove users to or from a device. Admins can also block users from changing accounts on their device, which means users can't turn on Google account settings and can't add any managed Google accounts to their devices. With a Google account setting, users can add work or school accounts on their device. Only one managed account can be added to a device with a work profile. To turn this setting on, the account settings must also be turned on. To block adding Google accounts, uncheck allow users to add their Google account. Users can still add accounts to their work profile or on the device through Microsoft Exchange, IMAP, or POP3. As a Google Workspace admin, you also have the ability to manage the lock screen features on Android devices. Admins can control lock screen features. These can all be disabled or can be managed individually. This can prevent data from being inadvertently disclosed on a device through notifications, for example and this will increase your security if you manage those lock screen features effectively. Individual features such as lock screen widgets, notifications, notification details, and trust agents I've looked at in a previous video. Some of the lock screen features such as fingerprint unlock may be useful additional security features, 
that you would mostly want to enable. In this case, you would enable lock screen features and only block those features that present a potential risk to security and your organization's data. Android device management within Google Workspace gives administrators a great deal of control over the devices and data that users can access. I hope you find this video useful as a tour through the available features. I'm Charlie Love, and this has been a Google Workspace admin tutorial brought to you by Acer and Apps Events. Thank you.